Hi there, welcome to the third video in the volume lessons at National Five Expressions and Formula. As you can see, today we are going to be looking at volume of a pyramid. Now, the previous two formulas we've done, volume of a prism and volume of a cylinder, they have been used in formulas, but those are not formulas you get in your formula sheet. Now, both formulas I'm going to give you today are in your formula sheet, so you don't need to remember them, you just need to know how to use them. Here you go, page one of your notes uh, for you. Volume of pyramid, obviously there is your pyramid. If you want to find the volume of your pyramid, you do it by a third multiplied by AH. Okay, and that's there for you, that's on your formula sheet. Now, area in this case is an area of the cross section. As you can see, the cross section going through a pyramid would change, so there is no constant cross section. What that means here is area of the base. And they can change that around on you again. They could give you rectangles, they give you squares, they could give you triangles, they give you circles, and we'll look at that in a wee second. But that A stands for area of the base. And the height, H then is just height. Very important when you're using the height that it's the perpendicular height. It cannot be the slanted height of the side. It has to go the full height there, perpendicular at right angles to the base. You've got to go straight up there. You don't measure your, your height from over by the door, otherwise you'd be 18 foot 4. You have to measure it from your toes straight up in there. That's the height you need. Let's move on and do a couple of examples. I think we're actually going to do one this time. So example one, calculate the volume of this pyramid if it has a height of 9.5 metres. So we've got a pyramid. To find the volume of a pyramid, we're going to use our formula. We go to our formula sheet, we check, make sure we're right. Nothing worse for a teacher than marking a kid's work who's got the wrong formula down when it's written on the page next to them. And again, we need to find that area first. Okay, we need to find that area first. So what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to move this down a wee bit. So I've got a bit of space above it to find the area. So volume is a third H. Sorry about that, we'll call it an outtake, a wee bullopper. To find that area, it's just a rectangle, so all it's going to be is length times breadth, which is 12.2 multiplied by 6.7. There's actually nothing to stop you here substituting that length and breadth into the formula like we did with the cylinder. But we don't need to, obviously. Now let's me get my calculator. Not big sausage fingers into it. 81.74. Area, so it's centimetres squared. And then we can use that area in our formula. It's a third multiplied by 81.74 multiplied by the height, which from the question up here tells us is 9.5. So if we type that in our calculator, we should get the answer 258.843 and so on. We're going to have to let's do two sig figs for a wee change. So there's my first sig fig, my second sig fig, and then eight rounds are up. So it's going to be 260 to two significantly figures. So I've said centimetres, it's not, it's metres. Sorry about that. Now that's your example for the pyramid. Uh, again, we're going to look at it a bit more deeply for the ones where a circle is involved. Now that's on your formula sheet, that's how you use it. You'll get the practice of that in class. But first we're going to look at volume of a cone as well. So the volume of a cone... If we look at the volume of a pyramid formula again, the A being the area of the base, well in this case the base is a circle. Same as the cylinder, we know how to find the area of a circle. That area has got equal pi r squared. So it's going to be pi multiplied by the radius squared. So if we substitute that into the formula, make it a little bit easier to use. Again, if we want to work backwards, we can. it's much easier to do. It's presented this way on the formula sheet, so it's useful to see and useful to know. The formula for the cone in particular is V equals a third pi r squared h. That's your formula you're going to use if you've got a cone. And for the questions in National 5 so far, and, and standing good and credit before that, the cone was, mu was much more common than the pyramid. Doesn't mean it's going to be that way this year. Doesn't mean that's always going to be the case, but it has been in the past. And it's just, it's just a bit prettier, isn't it? A bit more interesting. So we'll look at an example. So just wrecking the place. Calculate the volume of this cone. We go to our formula sheet, we make sure 
our formula is right. A third plus i r squared h. Well, in this case, that's a third multiplied by pi, multiplied by four is the radius here. Be careful, make sure you're not given the diameter. You know how to deal with that. It is a third multiplied by pi, multiplied by four squared, multiplied by nine, which gives you your big long answer. 150.796 and so on. Let's go three sig figs again. So one, two, three sig figs. The seven after it will round it up. So my final answer is going to be 151. We're talking centimetres, so it's centimetres. Three dimensions with volume, so three with the centimetres to make it as cubic centimetres. That's it. That's your pyramid, that's your cone, that's how you calculate these things. Examples to try, one easy, one a little bit harder, but all stuff that you, you could be able to do. And come and answer your questions and we'll extend you in the class. Pause it if you don't want the answers that are about to come up. Now, okay, thanks very much. Any questions, give us a shout.